What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Zone. This is Call of Pripyat. Okay, you might remember I just left it at the side of the last helicopter. I'm in the Jupiter plant right now and there's a couple of, of things I need to do before I go back to Yanov. Right, I need to head over to Department 1 apparently. There should be information about the Pripyat 1 underpass in Department 1, so I should go over there and collect it. There's also this over here. I've got to check the underpass transportation lock. Uh, that's also in this building, so I think that's what I'm going to do now. And I think it might be through here. I explored the majority of this building. I went through here, but I never went all the way through here. So I can only assume this is the way I've got to go. Let's hope there's no more of those weird side dogs following me. Popping up every now and then just to ruin my day. Did I No, I don't I don't believe I was here before. This is probably it. Apologies if I sound a little strange by the way. I've got a bit of a cold. Doesn't look like there's anyone here at all actually. It's pointing me in this direction. I'm wondering if it's something to do with those lights. That's where I'm going to go first. Oh, I have to eat. I have to eat. Let's see what we're going to eat. Let's have some bread. That, that's got me covered, I think. You know, I bet in a building as big as this, there's a stash somewhere in here. I just don't know where. Yeah, it's up here, apparently. And there appear to be... There appears to be stairs up, so let's have a look. Yep, I'm in the right place. Aha, here we are. to the underpass is here. If we activate the generator, we'll be able to open the transportation lock. We need to activate a generator. Okay. No follow-up mission though. Can I activate a generator from here? Can I can I do something here? Maybe maybe a switch. Aha ha 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 ah. Uh, no, no, it's not working. God damn, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's that then, is it? Apparently it is, okay. Alright then, well, the active mission is now to investigate Department 1, and that's not too far away, it's just a little bit to the southeast. Does mean I have to get out of this building, though. Um, I, I, I don't know if... There might be any artifacts around here. I, I haven't really seen any anomalies around here, but it's, it's worth a look. It doesn't appear to be anything here at all, really. This place has been completely abandoned. There's, there's no humans. It's very, very strange. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any artifacts here either. Well, I'll be. Ah, ooh. Ah, hang on. This could be a way out. Yes, this is the door I couldn't get through before because of this goddamn truck. Anything in the back of the truck? Let's just have a look. Eh, uh, can I even get in there? Hmm. I don't think so, but it doesn't look like there's anything in there anyway, so let's leave it. And if I can walk over this, which I can... Okay, we're going out the building now. Now I just need to head to my south and uh, go to Department 1. Lovely, lovely day. Okay, looks like I can just go straight down here, which is cool. Must be that building ahead of me. It is. Okie dokie. Still a little bit creeped out that there's nobody here. It's very odd. Through here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've just got to look for an entrance to this building, it seems. And try and not get irradiated if possible. Uh, that's not looking promising. 
Nope, must be on the other side of the building. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's something there that's very bad. Very, very bad. Might need to take a swig of vodka soon. Oh, no. Here we are, then. Okay, more of that weird ceiling seaweed shit. Anything on the shelves? Anything for me to pick up? No. God, the Jupiter plant is shit. I was expecting a a load of people to kill, like mercenaries and... What the hell? Okay, there's something here as well. Up we go. I'm on the right floor now. Let's dodge this. Something around here somewhere. Ah, I bet it's in that safe. No, I bet it isn't. No, it's uh, it's this. No, it's not that either. It's this. Schematics for the Pripyat 1 underpass. This is proof that there is an underground way to get to Pripyat. Well, okay then. Two extremely short cutscenes, which probably didn't need to be cutscenes. Okay. So let's check out what exactly happened there. I mean, what, what have I got to do now? I've got to talk to the technician about the underpass. Okay. So there's actually no more missions for me to do at the Jupiter plant. Yeah, I don't have to go from A to B to C to D to E to F to, to get all these little files now. So, the technician. Is that going to be Nitro? It looks like it might be. So it looks like I've got to go back to Yanov. And while I'm there, of course, I can hand in the uh, the Hunting Mutants quest. That's going to get me a few thousand, I think, so that's great. Is there is there nothing here at all before I leave? I mean, there's a big safe here. There's no way I can open it. Really? Oh. Can I just climb out? And... Yeah. Yes, I can. Probably not the safest way of doing things, but it's a little bit quicker. And I don't have to go past that weird staircase any anymore, so... There we are. Okay, then. I think that's it for me and the Jupiter plant, for now at least. So, uh, yeah, let's head back to Yanov. And I'm actually starting to lose just a teeny tiny bit of HP with that radiation, so... What have I got? I've actually got nine anti-rads, so let's just use one of them. There we go. Now, on the way back to Yanov, I'm just thinking, I was at the Eastern Tunnel before, and then I came here. There's a couple of stashes that I haven't found yet. Maybe I, maybe I could go to this one on the way back. Let's go and up there. So let's head towards, let's head towards the parking lot. I'll go past the bitumen anomaly. And actually, thinking about that, I actually haven't got any artifacts yet, and that's really strange. So, maybe if I investigate the bitumen anomaly on the way as well, it's, it's, I think it's worth a shot. It'd be nice to get some sort of artifacts. Even if I don't use them, I could sell them, because they seem to go for thousands at a time. Oh, hang on. Okay, it's just the one dog, you son of a bitch. Or just a bitch, I guess. This time. Okay, through here, this is the way through. Um, I could probably go that way, actually. No, you know what? Let, let's go this way. I, I, I don't know what's through here. It's not fenced off, so... That's how I got between buildings, so... I know I can go across there and into that building, but what's down, what's down here? Radiation? Just just radiation, is it? Might as well pull this out, just in case. Might get lucky. Not today, not today. I think this only really works in anomalies, really. And the Jupiter plant is surprisingly lacking quite a few. Alright, that's fenced off, so... Uh, this way. And that's my way out, apparently. Anything in this building before I leave? Come on, there's got to be something. There's got to be something. Not even anything on the shelf. Gah, if there was, it's been taken long ago. 
Right then, um, let's head to the bitumen anomaly, which is actually just ahead of me. So, that's over here. Right. Didn't really get up close with this before. Oh. I'm getting a signal like there's a, there's a lot of fire in the area, so, tell you what. Let's have these two out. Ah! Aha! There is something down there. There is something down there. It's moving quite fast, actually. It's a, the artifact seems to be moving. And it's around there. Now, what is down there exactly? Those weird gravitational things. There's something on fire down there. I'm wondering if it's actually easier for me to go down there first. Let's go around. I don't feel like falling down this little cliff, to be honest. There we go. Okay, even getting near it seems to uh, seems to hurt you just a teeny tiny bit. Oh, that's even worse, that bit. Oh, what a jump. Okay. Um, this is a little bit lower. Maybe I could just jump down, jump down here. Yep, that's great. Okay, okay. I'm actually really close to one now. Very close, in fact. I'm wondering if that's it. Yes, that could be it. Is that it? Hey, it is, it is, it is. Hey, I got it, I got it. Fuck, that was easy. Um, I'm, I'm going to get out of here before I get burned to death, if that's okay with you guys. So, um, yeah, let's jump this way. Okay. Okay, I really don't have the right sort of suit for that. Ah, oh, shit. You know what I do have, probably? One of these things is probably good for it. No, that's rad protection. What are the other ones? Chemical protection. Is there like a fire protection or wound healing? Uh, I think that might be it. That's Hercules, right? So, yeah. No, oh, maybe not. So what did I pick up? A wrenched. This bizarrely shaped artifact appears in places with increased gravitational activity. Acting as a kind of sponge that absorbs radioactive elements, this artifact provides protection from outside radiation, as well as from radioactive particles that have been already that have already made their way into the body. And it's radiation minus three. There is no reason for me not to use this, and seeing as I have two slots, I think this is going in slot number one, if I can just drag it over there. There we go. Excellent. So I'm protected slightly against radiation. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Okay. I should check out the anomalies more often, I think, because that one was actually quite easy to get to. I think I got quite lucky, though, seeing it was mo seeing as it was moving around. Right, so there's the anomalous grove over there. Maybe I should check that out as well. Um, but I actually just want to swing by to the car park, pick up one of these stashes first. So I'm going to have to go west past the checkpoint over here. I do seem to be regaining some HP. It's very, very gradual. It's very, very slow. But if I don't have to use a med kit, that's great. Because I actually don't have that many med kits. Maybe I should swing by Skidovs. Because there's apparently going to be some medical supplies waiting for me there. And it can't hurt to go back at some point. But, uh... Yeah. I'm always very nervous passing this place. Because I'm, I'm thinking that the bandits will eventually come back. Maybe not the same ones, and probably not Jack, but somebody will move in and use this place, you know? I'm just, that's what I expect to happen. It doesn't look like that's happened at the moment, so I think I'm, I think I'm good. Right, this is the car park, right? And there's actually people walking down there. Are these guys cool? Not really. Not really at all, actually. They, uh, they're zombies. There's zombies, yeah. Um, and there's a hell of a lot of anom anom anomalies around here. So I've got to wonder if there's another artifact around here, honestly. But I'll, uh, I'll think about that once I've dealt with the zombies. Now, how am I going to go about doing this? There's not really anywhere for me to hide around here, apart from a bush, and that's not very good. 
a well-placed grenade. That couldn't go amiss. How many have I got now? I must have used millions against those bureaus. I've only got six. I believe I had like 21 when I started. Wow. Okay, well, this might be a big waste, but let's give it a go. So, so close. But not close enough for them to care, apparently. And this isn't the most accurate of guns, honestly. And not at this range. Just makes me want my Vinteres even more. And hopefully, when I finish that hunting mutants quest, I'm, I've been told, a little bird did tell me that I'll be due some ammo, so... Fall down. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. That's it. They're dead. And I'm actually right next to the stash. I'm just going to check out these guys' bodies first. If possible. Just really, really quickly. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take a lot of that stuff, actually. Sure. It seems that I was getting radiation and then losing it instantly, and I'm wondering if that's something to do with the wrenched. Probably. Nice. Is that good enough to sell? It might be. I'll keep it on me. It can't hurt. And last but not least, there's this guy. Take the medkit, definitely. Bandage, yeah. I'll take the detector as well. Okay, so. Right in front of me. It's apparently right here. Something in the car. Oh, yes, here we are. Okay, there's a couple of grenades and medical equipment, it looks like. And I cannot, for the life of me, get inside this car. Not even crouching down even lower than usual. I can't quite fit, unfortunately. I'm too fat. And what is left? Oh, they, I think there's a pistol on the floor. Can I have a look, a look around here, possibly? There must be some way of getting in this. Come on. Okay, I think I just picked the pistol up. There must be some more, because it didn't say stash found. Oh yeah, there is. It's ammunition. Ah, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I'm almost certain I'd be irradiated right now if it wasn't for that wrenched. Because it's gone straight away. What is it? Minus, minus three. Minus three. What is that? I haven't been down here before. Is that a poltergeist or is that one of those electro anomaly things? It seems to be moving back and forth down this train carriage. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll, I might come back to that actually because I, I think I might know what that's all about. But right now I think I've got to go to Yanov. And it's getting pretty dark now so... Let's get back to uh, the warmth of Yanov, the safety of Yanov, the lag-free of Yanov. So what was that? This pistol, was it? SIPT M200. Accuracy and handling are fantastic. And the damage is pretty good as well, for a, for a pistol. Pretty good, but I think I am going to sell it. Bloody hell. Must be loading a hell of a lot right now. I'm stuttering a bunch. Okay, looks like there's a hell of a lot of people in Yanov right now. Let's add one more to them. Right, first up, it's the trader, because I want to see if I can get rid of this shotgun and pistol. Ah, the shotgun is a no-go. Um... For the rest of it, not a problem. Echo detector, yep, yeah, okay. 
get rid of the pistol. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anything else? Uh, I suppose that. I don't use that at all. All this ammunition anymore. I think that about covers it. I think, yeah. So almost a grand. That's not bad. I, I have to get rid of the uh, get rid of the shotgun, unfortunately. Did I unload it? No, I didn't. Okay. Just dropping down another free weapon for you guys. I see somebody's already taken the uh, the assault rifle that I, I dropped. But there's another shotgun. Who's going to take it? Who's going to take it? Place your bets. Right. Um, let's go see Nitro first. Sup. Sup. Okay, I found some documents. They describe a way of getting to Pripyat. Oh good, I lost some, some of the documents. They would have got in the way, to be honest. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to summarize, there's an underground underpass designa designated Pripyat 1, which runs under the city of Pripyat, with one section that ends in a lock located in the Jupiter's plant transportation section. Impressive. Judging by the notes, it has been sealed, filled with gas, and the power to it has been cut. I suppose I could try to revive the generator and open the lock, only... Only I ain't going through Jupiter without protection, and I suggest that you don't even think about going underground on your own. You'll need to have a couple of buddies with you at least. You'll all need suits with closed cycle respiratory modules too, otherwise you won't last a minute down there. Listen, Zulu lives in a tower not far from here. Try talking to him. If you guys hit it off, he'll tell you how to put a squad together. Cool, okay. Two new missions then. I've got to talk to Zulu, and I've also got to find a suit with a closed cycle respiratory module. Okay. Okay, okay. Fair enough. That's going to be a difficult one, I think. While I'm here, let's see what repairs I can get. Okay, gas mask seems fine. The armor's mm, kind of okay. I might as well repair it. It's only 470. Uh, the guns, on the other hand, are a bit shit now. I mean, you saw the accuracy when I was against the zombies. So if I get that repaired, that's going to be a lot better. So how much have we got to pay for that? Just over a grand. Fair enough. I guess I should do it with the Eliminator as well. Why did they lose so much of their condition? It may have been something to do with that anomaly, you know. Just standing that close to the fire all the time. Hmm. Because I barely use the Eliminator, so... Hmm. I wonder if these these guns were just in my inventory and they weren't just in these two slots. Would they get damaged as well? Hmm. Alright, anyway. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, I need to find a suit with a closed cycle respiratory module. And apparently Zulu's in the tower up here. And he's the guy I need to speak to about getting a squad together. Fair enough. So what else is there to do? Is it just... It appears that... Now I've got to go see Trapper. Is this going to be good? Hello! Let's see. Yep, the mutants in the tunnels were mutated dwarfs. Now they're dead, mutated dwarfs. Excellent. I'm guessing they must have been Bureaus. That explains why the folks at Yanov got all excited about the whole thing. Well, seeing as they're dead, the reward is yours. So I've got 5,000 rubles, i got even more stash coordinates. Okay, um... Bye. Let's see where those stash coordinates are. Let's have a look. Okay, there's one over there. There's one at the quarry. Uh, yep. Yep, uh, so I've got four actually now, so I could just do a massive circle and get all of them, if possible. That'd be great. That's cool. There's, there's no more, though? No more quests? Is that the end? I, I was kind of expecting, you know, a big reward of ammo. Why don't you hunt anymore? Is that something to do with it? Trapper says he's getting old, man. He says, That's why Fox died. He was my partner and friend. We hunted many a beast together, shoulder to shoulder. Then we ran into these two chimeras by Zaton that haven't been seen in the zone for 18 months. One knocked Fox to the ground before I could even get my shotgun out. When I wounded the other one, they ran off. I hope they burn in hell forever. Okay, did you try tracking them down? 
The wounded one went to Zaton. Gonta's group is following it. Oh, right, okay. Then again, I heard they're lacking an experienced hunter. If you help them out, I'll make it worth your while. The other one, the one that killed Fox, well, I lost it. It was as if it just vanished. Poor Fox. He was a good man, but age sure takes its toll. Uh, okay. Fair enough. What are chimeras? Can you tell me? Yes, you can. Excellent. I don't believe I've, I've met any chimeras yet, to be honest, so let's have a look. Apparently, they're very dangerous nocturnal predators. They try to get behind you under cover of darkness and leap on top of you. If you know there's a chimera around, keep checking your back and cover your friend's asses. That's not extremely descriptive, really, but... Hmm. I've heard of chimeras, I just don't think I've seen one yet. Hmm. Okay, well, there's that. What else should I do? I'm thinking because I sold a lot of things a minute ago, I should probably clear out this box. Because there's a couple of pistols that I don't think I'm ever going to use, really. These two, I do want to use, of course. But the rest of it, I think, can go. Even the black kite. Unfortunately. It's a very, very nice pistol. But no. So, there's that. Do, 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 do. Um, where the hell was I going? I was going over to Nitro, then. For some reason. Trade! Here we are. All of that can go. And uh, all of all of this can go. Okay, is there any other... Any other things? What is that? Okay, so two grand. Two grand's not bad. Gets rid of a lot of it. That's cool. I, I've still got all these documents. I wonder if Al would be interested in them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. What's this? Uh, isn't that what I'm after? 20. I can afford it as well. Closed cycle respiratory system. It's got a helmet attached to it. It looks like it could be. It's. Much, much better than my one right now. My little sunrise bodysuit. Ah, oh, shit. I think this is what I need for the quest. And I can afford it, so maybe it's just easier for me to buy it. You know what? I'm, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I. Why did I take. Oh, right. I, I took that off because it comes with the suit, apparently. I am going to buy this. Okay. What, what was that? I hope that was like a mission complete thing. It is. Mission complete. Find a suit with a closed cycle respiratory module. Excellent. I got it. But now, of course, I have no reason to, to have these. So, I'm going to sell both these. I don't think I need the gas mask anymore because this, this comes with its own little helmet. So, I'm just going to sell this as well. Nearly three grand. Okay. That's that. Um, how much would this go for? 7,000 nearly. I'm going to keep it though. There's two slots with this one. I'm actually going to put it back. There we go. Okay. I thought that was going to be really tricky, but it's not actually. Hmm. Well, there you go. Now I actually am going to see Nitro. Definitely. I want to see what upgrades I can get for this thing. Hello. Right. So, what can you do? Oh, you can only do one. Increase the armor by 10%. That's not great, is it? What do you need for the rest? I should really get some of these tools, man. At least at least basic tools. What is there? There's, there's tools for basic work. Tools for fine work. Tools for calibration. Right. Right. Okay, even though this is a hell of a lot better, it, it could be. It could be better with some upgrades, so. I... I think... Before I do anything else, I'm going to sleep. And then I might go check out that train with the Electro Anomaly. A little bit to the south, if you remember that. Because I think I might find some tools there. So, let's just have a kip. So, um... Ten, that'll do. I like slipping through emissions. That's the way I like to deal with them. Alright, let's have something to eat. Let's have... Couple of sausages. 
Nice hearty breakfast there. Well, good luck to you. Thank you very much, Random Stalker. Please don't shoot me in the back, everybody. So I've just got to go follow these train tracks down to the bridge down here. That's where it was, I believe. It was really close to the Clark Park, so it must be this one. Let's go. Now, I'm pretty sure to find tools, you don't necessarily need the mission to find them. The mission acts as more of a reminder to get them. Okay, that's excellent. That is the next part of the Hunting Mutants quest. And I'm... Oh, shit. Is that what saw me? I was just wondering that. There's a fucking bloodsucker on the tracks. And it looks like it's been wounded as well. It's holding its stomach. Like, maybe it's got a stitch. It's been running too long or something. He's an old bloodsucker. Right. Forget the tools. Forget the tools completely. I am going back to Trapper right now because I want to get on with that quest. Because I want the ammo. Hello. Might pop up to the trader before I leave as well. Because you, did you see how much ammo I had? Wasn't a lot. How goes the hunt? Well, let's find out. Thanks for coming. I need a reliable and experienced hunter, and you're the best Yanov has to offer. After all that has happened, I can't let the Chimera escape again. I'm putting up all my savings for this. Ten thousand. I want to make sure this job is done right. Fox must be avenged. The Chimera. I'm ready to deal with the Chimera. Great. The hunter who found that bastard saw it. It saw it just as it got dark. It was headed towards the ventilation complex. Chimeras are nocturnal and territorial, so it's probably going to its hunting grounds. I think that's where you should look for it come nightfall. Then again, it's more active when it's dark. Be careful, and good hunting. Okay... Sod's law, really, isn't it? I just went to sleep, and I've got to go to sleep again to, to get back tonight, I think. So, where have I got to go hunt it? The, the ventilation complex, was it? That's down here, isn't it? Yes, it's the, the smiling panda, or the polar bear, or the seal, or whatever it is, yeah. Down here. Okay. You must kill it at night when it comes out to hunt by the ventilation complex. I must. So if I go down there now, I won't find it. Okay. Well... Uh, this is going to be a very, very short day because I'm going to go back to sleep again. But before that, I'm going to end the video. So, join me next time where I will go chimera hunting. I'll see you then.